Holy moly, I have gotten dozens and dozens of messages asking me how I feel about Google laying off 6% of its workforce and cutting most of the Flutter, Dart, and Python teams. This is super concerning considering I'm one of the biggest Flutter flow advocates on the internet, on YouTube, and now Flutter just killed itself inside of Google. For those of you who don't know, Flutter is an open source mobile app development framework that's built and maintained by Google. Google built Flutter, which is a framework. A framework is a toolbox. And one of the tools inside of that toolbox is a programming language called Dart. Dart is now being cut back by Google. Lots of big companies are laying off, but for Google to lay off its core team for Flutter, Dart, and Python is very concerning. They didn't disclose the specifics, but Google has laid off a ton of people. And they're doing this because they want to cut back on costs and expenditures and increase their profits, okay? So Google's doing this because they need to please their public investors and start turning a profit. And normally when large companies have an urgency to turn a profit, the first teams that get laid off are teams that are not directly generating revenue or contributing to the bottom line. Flutter, Dart, and Python, these are internal tools. These are internal initiatives that can bolster the ecosystem, but don't actually drive revenue. They don't make money selling Flutter. They don't make money licensing Dart. This is just stuff they do for the community to make the world a better place because they have a ton of money, a ton of revenue, and they need to reinvest that. And so this was one of the initiatives that Google took on. And the good thing about all this is that Flutter is open source, which means it's available for everyone to use. It's all the source code, all the underlying foundation of Flutter is available on GitHub. Uh, you can literally just go to Flutter open source and we can go find the GitHub repository for Flutter. And this is gonna give us all the underlying source code of Flutter so that the community, anybody, me, you, so you can actually access the Flutter GitHub repository and see all the underlying source code. And this is really good because now you, or me can contribute to Flutter and help it get to the next level. There are a lot of programming frameworks out there that are open source that are community driven. So if you're thinking that this is the end of Flutter and you don't need to use Flutterflow anymore, you need to stop where you are right now and realize that this is okay. This just means that the team that's on Google's payroll to manage Flutter is getting fired, but there's still dozens, hundreds, thousands of community-based developers out there like me and you who will continue to support Flutter. So no, Flutter is not dead. It does suck that Google is laying off the core team, but in my eyes, you wanna know where they're going? They're going to Flutterflow. If you head over to LinkedIn and just look at the people that Flutterflow are hiring, the last four hires are from Google. They're literally pulling people from Google. This person was a technical program manager. Now they're running the marketplace at Flutterflow. I'm not sure if you know, but Abel, one of the co-founders at Flutterflow and his co-founder are also from Google. So we don't need to worry, okay? They recently hired Reina, also previously from Google, okay? Then they just recently brought on Leia as well, and she's awesome. We connected with her recently. She's also from Google. So she was the SPM at Flutter, and now she's the head of product at Flutterflow. So if you're thinking that Flutter's dead and you think that this is over, you need to stop where you are. Google knows what they're doing. Flutter has a mind of its own. It's community driven and we're going to be just fine. However, I still am not bullish on Flutter as a web programming framework. I think there are better out there. I'm still doing my R&D on WeWeb, Plasmic, um, Builder.io and a few others. And I'm gonna come out with a video very, very soon on what I think is the best web app SaaS builder. I don't think it's Bubble. I don't think it's Flutter. I think it's out there and I'm still looking for it. And if I can't find it, I'm gonna build it myself. And I mean that. I have a lot of ideas and I've talked to a lot of people in the last two, three weeks about how we would execute something like this. But I do think that there's an opportunity to build the best version of Flutterflow, but for web, using the best web frameworks, which in my opinion are very advanced UI building frameworks and JavaScript. It has to be JavaScript based if you're going with web. So look, at the end of the day, if you're building a mobile app, I think Flutterflow is the king and you will never get better than Flutterflow as far as building a mobile app goes. You don't need to worry that Flutter is not gonna be around soon. You don't need to worry that if it's not, is it the right choice?
They are absolutely crushing it right now on Flutter. And when I say crushing, I mean millions of dollars. Have you heard of the Umax app? People are talking about this left and right. It's an AI powered app that helps you become hotter. And this was built in Flutter. It's number 28 in lifestyle right now. It's just a bunch of AI calls that are strung together in a really fun, creative way that's helping people get hot. I haven't used it personally yet, but I saw a few podcasts of people using it and it's absolutely hilarious and it's crushing. And if we go to app figures, we can actually figure out how much revenue UMAX is doing right now. And this is a great way for you to figure out like what markets you can compete in. So I'm gonna head over to market intelligence, hit explorer, type UMAX, okay? Hit enter, we have become hot right here. I'll click on that and we can see estimated downloads and estimated revenue. 500,000 downloads in March and over $340,000 in revenue. And I imagine it's a subscription, so multiply that by 12. Now you're looking at 340 times 12, which is $4 million ARR. And I bet you that's not even fully accurate. If anything, it's way higher than that. So this is a really good validation that Flutter is still around, still alive. People are building cash flowing money, printing apps using Flutter. Um, and I don't think that there's a better choice in the market for, uh, for mobile apps than there is Flutter Flow. So if you have an idea for an app and you're willing to roll up your sleeves, we wanna teach you how to build your app idea yourself. Head over to ambitiouslabs.io. There is a link in the description and learn more about our program called Dreams Into Apps. This is a 12-week app idea accelerator where my team will literally teach you one-on-one -on -one how to bring your app idea to life, get your first users, and start generating revenue. Scroll down on the page, and once you fill out the application, you'll be prompted to book a call with one of our amazing enrollment specialists. We're super excited to learn more about you and get a chance to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. My name's Aleem, founder of Ambitious Labs. I'll see you in another video.